a very human Jesus. This is uh, Paul Lennon giving you a few thoughts for the coming Sunday. Uh, based on the Gospel of Matthew, if you're still interested, chapter 15, uh, verses 21 and the following, Paul Lennon. And um, you're going to see why I said a very human Jesus. And you know me by now, I like approaching Jesus from the bottom up, the ascending approach to, to Jesus. Go right to it. Jesus left that place and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And suddenly out came a Canaanite woman from that district and started shouting. Now, Mark, in his version, has told us that Jesus was there, went into a house, and, and wanted to get away from the crowd. I wanted to uh, be, be in a quiet place, basically by himself and with his disciples. But they discovered, people somehow got to know that this Jesus, this rabbi, this young rabbi from Nazareth, who had performed some signs, uh, was around there. And this woman, this Canaanite woman, this pagan woman, started shouting out, Lord, son of David. This is what she could know, Jewish, son of David. Take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. So this woman is going beyond her own religious background. She's taking a step out of her comfort zone because she wants something. She's in desperate need. But Jesus paid no attention to her. But he said not a word in answer to her. And his disciples went and pleaded with him, saying, Give her what she wants, because she keeps shouting after us. She's, <laughs> she's making us ashamed. She's making a show of us. Give her what she wants. Get rid of her. He said in reply, And she hears it. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he states firmly, I'm Jewish. And uh, yes, maybe I am a Messiah. But uh, I'm only sent to my own people and not to you. You're pagans. Goyim. You're, you're, you're foreigners. But the woman had come up and was bowing low before him. Can you imagine this? So is she on her knees? Is she prostrate as Mark says? Lord, help me. He replied, ah, oh, it is not fair to take the children's food and, and throw it to the little dogs. Tremendous put down. Is this an insult? Is this an offense? Is this almost abusive? She was able for Jesus. She retorted, Ah, oh, yes, Lord. But even little dogs eat the scraps that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, you have great faith. He didn't say stubbornness. Let your desire be granted. And from that moment, her daughter was well again. So why is this a very human Jesus? Sometimes we Catholics, you know, we pious Catholics think that Jesus had it all out laid before him, laid out before him. Everything was very clear. Here we got he, you're going to play today, Jesus, you're 18 holes, and you know it's a par 72. And the Father has set it all out for you, so you can start at hole number one and go right ahead and play your game. This is not what the gospel says. Jesus is kind of put off his program. 
He's put off his game here, Jesus. Put off his game is Jesus on this particular day. Well, how is this happening? He's put off his game. So he seems to change his mind. How does he change his mind? Because this woman is, insists with him. Strange thing, we believe he's the Son of God. And nevertheless, this human being comes up to him. I'm in trouble. I need you desperately. And Jesus changes his plan. He heeds her. So here we have Jesus changing his plan. Why does he change it? Because he's confronted with a human being with a great human need. And he is moved. So compassion. By this woman. That's why I say a very human Jesus.